That's a lot. Yes. What kind of paint is it? Paint? What kind of paint? It's not acrylic. Uh, this yeah. ink, natural ink, ink. Hmm. from pig, uh, pigments or minerals or pine trees. Mm -hmm. So it's all natural. All, all natural. Very cool. No chemical. In maybe 100 years ago, they made a higher quality of ink sticks. Yeah. And you can actually cook it and eat it as oh. medicine. Wow. The cure flus and colds. But today, the quality goes down. Right. So yeah. it's so not safe to do. Not safe to, do, to yeah. drink or eat it. Right. But about 100 years ago, when kids got flu or colds, uh -huh. or when they were a stomach or sick, parents cook uh, mm. this ink. Also put a lot of Chinese herbs in it. So it smells good. Yeah. So at that time, they, they could cook it and drink it. It smells kind of like Vicks or cough drops. But today, the quality goes yeah, down. It goes down. It's not safe to, to do this. Hello. <laughs> you guys having fun yet? Good time. Yeah. How about you? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. While a handmade braiding brush endows more artistic value to calligraphy, a handmade ink stick will prolong the preservation period of calligraphy work. In Sanchong, Chen Jiao is the only master in Taiwan who still insists on making ink in a traditional way. The process of hand making ink is very complicated. If the proportions of each material are incorrect, the process has to be redone all over again. This is pine smoke powder. It makes the ink dark and bright. Musk and flakes made of rose are additives that make ink sticks carry a special scent. This is Master Chen's personal recipe. After the materials are properly mixed, Chen puts the ink lump on the machine to stir continuously. This increases the consistency and resilience of the ink lump, so cracks are less likely to appear on the ink stick. Chen says during the stirring process, musk and pine smoke powder have to be added. But when to add it and how much to add depends on his personal experience. After eight high temperature stirrings, the ink lump will discharge white smoke and carry radiance. After Chen thoroughly checks the ink quality, he will start to mold ink sticks. Just like kneading a flour lump, Chen hammers the ink lump to solidify it, makes a fire, wraps up the ink lump, and puts it beside the fire to keep the temperature and maintain the quality of the ink stick. Later, the ink lump is scaled, kneaded into a stick, and put into the mold. The pressurizing chair, made of a long bench, compresses the ink lump into the shape of a stick. After the ink stick is cooled, the mold will be opened, and there will be graphic patterns on the ink sticks. In addition to molded ink sticks, many people like Chen's handmade ink sticks, which are printed with Chen's fingerprint and are valuable for collecting. Now the ink sticks are sticky and soft, and have to be air dry for 25 days until their shapes are fixed. During this process, the ink sticks have to be turned over constantly to make each side dry evenly. From the appearance, Chen's handmade ink sticks are not different from machine-made ones, but he uses natural materials to avoid the smell of chemical ingredients.